Girl, get at it, get your bag up. Hit that gym and get back fine. Go get that degree, go girl, focus on me. Unlock potential that, that you didn't know you had in you. Oh, yeah, it's time to mix it up and get. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherdell and I am the woman behind the Post Grad Diaries of Curly Blanco. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you are returning, welcome. Today's video is about five, oops, that's 10, oops, one more time. This is about five things that I wish I knew before graduating college. Now, I did make some of these little snippet clips on my uh, TikTok. So if you're from my TikTok, make sure you comment some pink hearts in the comment section to let me know that you came from my TikTok. Um, if not, then make sure you go to my TikTok uh, account at Curly Blanco and comment some pink hearts letting me know that you came from my channel. So without further ado, let's get started. Point number one that I want to make is to save your money. And I'm going to say it one more time because I feel like we know this, but like we don't actually do it. Save your money. So um, as I talked about again on my TikTok, um, there were a lot of times where I went out with my friends and I was just kind of like, you know, this is a lot of money. Like I started realizing when I was looking at my account that I was spending so much money on going out to eat, buying a drink, gas to get to a function, um, giving somebody gas money. Like it was just like, if I could tally up how much money that I spent on just going out having fun, like obviously outside is not cheap at all, but it was still just kind of like, I wish I could have found more things to do for free um, that didn't involve me always turning up or being late. Like I could have found more exciting things to do at home, like maybe watching a movie or walking around a local park or um you know like making my drinks at home like there's just so many things that I could have did to save money and I feel like looking back on that now I wish I would have thought about that more as I was going throughout my undergrad experience but especially my senior year because if you like know me personally you know that senior year I was outside so much like it was I was barely even at my apartment at all so definitely um I wish that I would have saved more money and I'm giving that advice to somebody else who's in college um or about to start college save your money, like still have fun. I would say definitely budget. Um, you want to make sure that you're still doing what you want to do and, you know, like prioritizing fun and those experiences, but you also want to make note of how often you're doing those experiences so that when you do um, get to the point where I'm at now a college graduate, you still have some cushion of the money that you spent. So yeah, moving on to part two. So number two, something I wish that I knew before graduating college um, is that people are going to disappear. And when I say disappear, like they're not on Instagram, they're not on Twitter, they're not on LinkedIn, like they are literally gone. Um, this is not for me, I'm not putting anybody on blast, but I've just noticed a lot of people like really be gone. <laughs> like I genuinely do not know what they're doing. I don't know where they're working. I don't know if they're even still relatively like in the DMV area. Um, and I don't know, it's kind of concerning because it's like you should focus on yourself, but it's like, dang, like proof of life is important too. <laughs> um, I have done my best to maintain my friendships with the people that I started out here with, um, you know, during my undergrad experience. But I think now it's just crazy to think about how we're all, you know, living our own lives and just trying to, you know, figure out what is going to work best for each of us. So definitely people disappear. Um, if your friends are kind of like out the blue, not texting you as much, not calling you as much, please don't take it personally. Everybody is going through something right now. Everybody is changing right now. Um, trying to figure out, you know, who they actually are now that they don't have um, college student by their name. Now they have MBA by their name or a bachelor's degree by their name. Like, who do they actually want to be now? So I definitely would not take it personally. I know I don't take it personally. I think it's just like it was a big adjustment at the beginning. So it's like, dang, like, where are my friends at? And now I have to, like, as y'all know, I'm in the process of moving, so it's like, okay, now I have to figure out new friends and a new way of transportation and budgeting out my money a little bit more, as I talked about in the initial point. Just trying to transition everything. So I would say just give your friends and people around you more grace because you just never know what somebody's going through. It's real life out here, and life does not stop. So, yeah. Number three is that they will go, but you will remain. And what I mean by that is that heartbreak is inevitable. <laughs> like when you're in college, you're meeting so many different people, you're learning more about yourself, your wants, your desires, your likes, your dislikes. And sometimes throughout that, you're gonna run into somebody that is just, how do I put it? Like, they're just not the one. <laughs> they're not the one, and you may meet multiple people that are not the one. 
And that's okay. Um, remember that this time, again, you're growing, you're learning more about yourself. This is really the first time that a lot of us are on our own. So it's okay to not know what you're doing. Um, but don't be oblivious to things that may happen. Um, when people may only, you know, want sex from you, if they only, um, you know, want to be a party person towards you. Like, just being mindful that everybody is not always going to have your best interest at heart. And that sometimes, you know, it's good to be... Um, harder on people in those situations because it's like okay like I don't know you like that like be nice and courteous but still be like okay like what are you really about how do I know you do you know somebody I know like can I trust their word about you like it's just a lot of different things and people will play with your time like let me just say this because do not let anybody play with your time your energy time you cannot get that energy you cannot get energy you can't kind of get back but time you cannot get back okay <laughs> So please make sure that there's not somebody out there, male, female, or whoever, that is wasting your time because, again, they will go, but you will remain. I wish that somebody at their college would have told me that I was not going to have the motivation to do anything. Like, y'all, well, I don't know if y'all really know this or not, but I'll probably talk about it more in a separate video on me being, like, strongly involved in my college experience when it came to leading organizations, dedicating my time and energy towards things, volunteering, things like that. And I love all of it. Don't get me wrong. But it was just like, this is taking up so much of my time in my life and I still have to be a student. It was literally like, what am I doing? <laughs> so with that, I would say um, just be mindful that you can't have burnout and that you are going to be tired. Like, I, graduation day alone, senior week for my Hamptonians, like, that alone was tiring. But you have to add on first and second semester, um, trying to pass your classes, again, being a student leader, um, trying to put things together financially, trying to get a job, trying to move. Like, you are going to be tired. And life is not stopping, sadly. <laughs> life is not stopping. And I would say you maybe have a good... Mm, anywhere from two weeks to maybe two months to really like decompress, chill, live life, hang with your friends, hang with your family. But after that, it's a wrap. You have to get to work. You have to go make that money. <laughs> and it's just like, oh my gosh, like I'm tired. And I get it because I'm tired too, but I am smiling and making videos. And I'm just trying to make it all work. But Seriously, though, like, I wish somebody would have told me I was going to be tired. I wish somebody would have told me to get my sleep instead of partying. Like, okay, again, having balance between, like, spending your money and partying and having fun is all great, but you have to get your sleep, okay? Sleep? Me and sleep are like this. <laughs> We're like this! Because I just need that relaxation and that decompression time for me to be able to be my at my fullest capacity when I am working or when I am completing a project, when I'm with my friends, with my family. I don't want to feel sluggish. I don't want to feel like, huh, like I gotta go do this again. Like you don't want to feel like dreadful of the things that you really enjoy doing. So yeah, time um, is very important. And I again, like it's tiring out here. Working is tiring. But as long as you work on replenishing that tiredness, I think you'll be okay. And my last and final fifth point is that I wish somebody would have told me that moving is stressful. <laughs> it does not matter when you start this process. Moving is going to stress you out whether you start months in advance or a month before. Um, thankfully for me, I did start a little bit more in advance, but even still, I'm still stressed. Like trying to get together the money, trying to, you know, pick out what furniture I want, the decor, the aesthetic, um, you know, where's my new place going to be located around, like all that stuff makes a difference. Um, <laughs> I would say I would recommend definitely picking out a good agent, um, but if you don't want to deal with, you know, maybe a broker's fee and you're doing it all on your own, definitely be mindful of where's your place located, you know, what's around you, is there um, convenience stores, is there, um, you know, a gas station, is there, you know, a school, like, what do you really want to be around? Um, also with that, making up what you want your place to look like, because that's something that I had to really work on, that's kind of stressful, because it's like, me and my roommate, um, at the time, we had a similar aesthetic, kind of, um, and I want to kind of keep that aesthetic, but now I'm like, okay, I don't fully want that, I kind of want something different, because now it's like, it's my place solely, and I want to have in there what I really like so just do research you know maybe on Pinterest or look at other YouTubers on you know their empty apartment tours or maybe um you know like their um 
haul, the different furniture, different um, household items and necessities that they have. I know I'll be making my own, so make sure that you subscribe to see that. Um, the things that I bought that I really enjoyed um, or will be enjoying as I like relocate. Because um, it just makes such a difference in really having your space feel like your home and it feels, you know, relaxing. Like, you don't want to come home from work feeling like, oh my gosh, like, why did I move here? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, definitely be mindful of the area and the location. Not even just, like, that specific place, but also, like, the city, um, the state, the surrounding cities. You know, what do you really want to be around? Um, I know for me, excuse me, being in Hampton, Hampton is a lot more quieter. So I know now I want to transition to more of a city life. I want to have something that's more upbeat, more exciting. Um, just something that's going to have me stay exhilarated and um, having that momentum throughout my career. So, yeah, that's pretty much why I chose what I chose. And I would say that I can't. I'll make another video on, you know, moving and, like, the realities of that. <laughs> if you guys want me to, comment down below if that's something, um, another video that you guys want me to make. But, yeah, moving is stressful whether you, no matter where you start. Um, it can be small stresses or big stresses, but just remember that, at the end of the day, it's going to work out because all things work together in our favor. I am so sad to say, but now we're at the end of my video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like and comment below your thoughts on which tip out of the five really resonated with you. And make sure to subscribe. Share this with a friend. Share this with somebody that you know is about to start college. Share this with a recent graduate. Shout out to class of 2023. Um, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. No level. I'm headed for no